I like that if it's a short distance, it's over quickly. It's only going to be 15, 16 minutes and it'll all be over. So that's what I love about it. Um, I guess what I hate about it is that it's a short distance. It's not long enough for me to get going. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm better at the longer distances. Tips for running a 5k. Um, I guess it's, it's a shorter distance, it's a bit faster, so don't get left behind at the start, make sure that you get, get a good position because uh, you don't want to be jostling for positions later on in the race. I think my 5k PB was actually in the middle of a 10k. Um, so the training that made the most difference is I guess I was running slightly shorter interval sessions, doing faster training work. Because I'm normally running marathons, so it's uh, longer reps, so short, sharp stuff. Um, yeah, don't be frightened to run quickly in training. My advice is always the same for any distance, and that's have confidence in your own ability. Don't be obsessed with the watch, don't be trying to pre-predict what you can run each kilometre in. I'd say just go out there and run as hard as you can and if it feels good, go for it. Don't hold back because you think it's too fast for you. Uh, focus on, find someone that you know you can, you know, someone from your club that normally finishes around you and focus on, on beating them um, and don't be too robotic in your approach, approach to racing. I don't like being too obsessed with my, my diet, um, I like to be able to eat what I like. I'm obviously, I'm careful about what I eat, but I would be if I wasn't a runner anyway. Um, so I don't, yeah, I don't have any sort of nutrition plans that I follow, to follow, and I think that's because I want to be able to enjoy my running, and if I start getting obsessed and stressed about my diet, then I'll stop enjoying it. Um, so I have a very laid-back approach to diet uh, for any distance.